Hey guys, this is Brandon. I just wanted to do a quick little open box review of a camera system that I got. Um, I'm gonna just do kind of a setup video showing how it's all set up, uh, minus probably running the wires uh, through the attic because it's a small crawl space, so can't really uh, videotape up there very well. But I uh, just wanted to quickly show you the items that come in the box with the camera set. All right, and here is the uh, box that the camera system came in. Uh, as you can see, there are four cameras, uh, one in each of these boxes. And then um, we've got here four 60-foot LAN cables. Those are Ethernet cables. They provide power and um, recording and everything through one wire. And then here we've got the quick user guide, so that will make it uh, very handy setting everything up. Right here, uh, we've got a very slimline HD recorder see this is what all the components the cameras and everything connect into and then to the internet um, so that you can view all of these online on the back flip it over here on the back you'll see that we've got the four uh, LAN ports so the four Ethernet ports and um, these will allow you to plug in each of these cameras in uh, we've got the audio out audio in that middle single port is for the uh, Ethernet, the internet, into the device so to make it connectable. We've got a 4K HDMI out. Uh, that'll go out to the TV. We also have VGA port. Um, that's kind of old school for uh, computer monitor type situations if you happen to use one of those. We've got a USB 3.0 for faster speeds, uh, transfer speeds, and then we also have a USB 2.0. The very right uh, plug would be the power support um, plug. So right there is just all the connections, again, that everything will be plugged into. All right. In this kind of lengthwise box, so we've got a small LAN cable. We've got the power supply box here. Pull it out. We've got a power supply box. And then we have the uh, cord that plugs into the power supply box, so that'll give it uh, the power directly. And then it comes with a little small mouse, I'm assuming, to navigate uh, through the system once it's set up. Um, in one of the boxes here, I've got it pulled out for you. This is each of the camera systems. You can see it there. It's very nice looking. It's got a waterproof housing. The front of it comes over the edge of the lens a little bit, so it'll help with rain. So, and you see how um, right there is how it connects. Um, so we've got that. Back side of the camera. And we've got some more little connection pieces here for the camera itself. Let's get into setting it all up. All right, so I've got the LAN cables run up into the attic. Um, you can see them coming out of the wall here. Uh, they run up to the attic and then to the corners of the roof where the cameras are located. Um, we've got those cables running up into where the box is, um, up in here. And then, um, as you can see coming out, this blue cable right here is the uh, HDMI cable, and that's running from the recording box up here to the TV. So that's gonna be the output into the TV. And then uh, flip over here to the other side. And you can see thus far, we've got two cameras hooked up. Uh, so we've got camera one, camera two, and soon we'll have camera three and camera four. So that's kind of where we're at right now. All right. All right, so I've got the uh, cables. It was a little bit difficult, but I've got the cables um, run through the attic and then down to the gables of the roof on the outside. And as you can see here, I've got, um, I have one LAN cable right here, and I did tape off uh, colors on each end so I know on each end of the wire so I know which one is which. So I've got this one hooked to red, and uh, from here, all I'm gonna have to do is take the, see if I can do it one-handed, um, but we take the cable here, and you can see that there's a LAN cable plug right here. And you just, that directly goes right into the uh, cable itself. One second. And you just click it in like that. So it's very simple. Um, now, I'm gonna run all of these cables up through this hole. This hole is probably about a one inch hole up in the roof um, that I'm feeding everything through. And all that's gonna basically mount up like this. And, uh, from there, whoops, sorry. 
from there uh, we're just gonna basically screw it in so give me just one second and all right so we've got uh, two of the screws screwed in on the back side of this camera um, there's only one screw left we did have to uh, loosen it up uh, so the camera's facing straight down before we can put the screw into it all right screw in so that's the last screw here so then all we have to do at this point is move the camera up set the position we need it's pointing in the right direction and uh and then we should be good on on this first camera all right so we've got this is the first camera and we've got that one set up as you can see it's all nice and then if we come over here we've got second camera set up in a different direction so you can see that one's there um got that point in a different direction so so far we got two set up it's looking good so far we're gonna move on to the uh, third and fourth here in just a minute all right guys so we've got the last two cameras hooked up um, we've got this one that's pointing over at the pool area and then we've got uh, this camera pointing out into the yard so they're pretty close to one another but these two cameras are the last two up and um, we got them up, it's raining a little bit, um, but they're waterproof and everything should be good from here. So we're gonna go ahead and take it inside and show you what it looks like inside. All right, so we finally got the recorder, um, the DVR recorder all set up and everything. Um, it is connected. The only thing it doesn't seem to be connected to is the network, which I'm guessing this, um, it looks like the system possibly does not have Wi-Fi connection. Um, it looks like it may because there's an included LAN cord here and it looks like it may require a LAN cord connection like a direct hardwire connection into the DVR recorder. Um, I guess our only problem is the where this is located is on the opposite end of the house where the Wi-Fi router would be. Um, so we don't really have the ability to direct connect into that at this time um, because of the location of where it's at. Uh, right next to here we have the little mouse connected that's included, it's just a little miniature mouse. And um, that's just for navigating the menus, uh, which I'll show you here in just a moment. So we come up here to our cameras, and we've got the first camera here. And it's very crisp and clear. Now keep in mind that this is a nighttime shot, nighttime video, it's completely dark out there, no lights on. Um, the infrared on the camera has indicated that it is dark, so it's lighting it up so you can see it. And um, we've got a good shot down by the front door and down the driveway area. So as we move over here to camera two, the second camera right now is pointing out towards the street and the driveway, uh, part of the yard with a lot of uh, different trees and such by a pond. So we've got a full view outside the front of the house, uh, out to the street and all the parking areas here in the front. And as we move over here, this will be camera three. This is pointed down the side um, of the house, in the backyard slash side of the house, where the pool is located. Uh, as you can see, it's raining, but um, it's a very good shot as well. I'm looking forward to seeing this during the daytime when everything's in color and not black and white. Um, and then as we move over here to camera four, camera four is going to be um, at the front uh, right-hand side of the house. And there's just like a little grill area there with some baskets of wood, uh, but you can see out to the street. Um, right now it looks like some of the rain is kind of blowing towards the camera, but you get a good view out to the street and the side of the house, uh, the front right hand corner of the house. So um, this particular system includes the four cameras, which is perfect, but however you can also upgrade the system and um, you can actually add four additional cameras with eight in total with this particular system. So as you can see, it says offline camera network disconnected, but it does have the ability to add in those four cameras so you can have a fully functioning system. Now keep in mind, this is all connected to a uh, lar pretty large, uh, about 55, 60 inch TV. So it's it's very good picture. Uh, each square I would say is a approximately the size of like a small uh, computer monitor. So that's definitely really, really handy. Um, it gives good picture quality with the settings that it has. Uh, only downside, like I've already mentioned, would be the fact that um, this does not appear to have a Wi-Fi connection to connect to 
a wireless router. Um, I know a lot of electronics these days typically have that, so um, it just seems to be hardwired only. So that is the system down here again is is where the DVR system resides. But that would be the complete setup. Um, I'll put everything together with all of the cameras um, being set up as well. The only thing that I could not film was up in the attic. It's just too small of a crawl space to get up there. But uh, overall, that is the system. All right, so this is the security camera system. Um, and it is starting up. Um, I did have to, I just wanted to do a factory reset on it. Um, get it back to the original settings so that we can kind of go through that and show the uh, setup for this. So, so we've got the mouse now showing on the screen and again the uh, security system is right down here. That is the DVR box that records uh, all the security cameras. And uh, like I said it is just, there we go. So here is the setup of the screen, and we did uh, go ahead and position the cameras already. Um, that's why I'm doing a factory reset to show you what it looks like. Um, but I did go ahead and set this up. So so now I'm gonna I'm gonna switch off the. Uh, camera here and I'm gonna go forward and do the controls for this so as you can see we start out with the language uh, selection with, and it's already defaulted to English so luckily uh, I speak English so I'm gonna leave it as is and click OK all right so the default password on this <clears throat> is just gonna be one two three four five six that's just the initial default password that you enter in. And then you hit login. So it basically says enhanced password mode has been enabled. Please set a strong password first. So from here, we're gonna put in the old password, which will be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we will click over and then click on the password screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause it real quick uh, so we can enter in our password. All right, so we've got our password entered. We have the old password, which is the one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we have in the new password. Um, now, when, when you click on the password fields, it will tell you uh, what is necessary, typically, and it says it in the, uh, on the setup manual as well, uh, that you're gonna need a strong password. So that's gonna consist of uh, lowercase letters, uppercase letters, uh, digits, so numbers, as well as a special character. Uh, or more than one character. So uh, just make sure you have your password either known or written down, but it will tell you that it's strong. You can see here nine, nine to 20 characters long is what it has to be. And then it has to include letters, digits, and special characters. So we've got all that entered in, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And it does give you the option to do uh, drawing a lock pattern as well. This is kind of a secondary lock system. Um, we're gonna go ahead and skip that. I, I, don't, I don't use those type of lock systems. So from here, um, it's going to go to the location. So we are, for us, we're going to be Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. So we're going to hit Eastern Standard. Uh, month, day, and year, you can change it to whichever format you'd like. I'm going to leave it as default. Um, that's typically what we use here in America. Time format, I'm going to switch to 12 hour because that's generally what we do here. And then from here, if you click on the system time, um, you can go ahead and set the date, which the date is date itself is already correct. Um, we're just going to need to correct the time. So if you come down the bottom, you can uh, you can go up or down on the hour um, and the minutes and seconds, and then a.m. or p.m. So for us, uh, let me see, we are actually going to go ahead and change this to zero. It's actually about to turn 8 p.m. you're gonna hit okay and on the dot 8 p.m. so from there um, you're you are gonna 
you can have the option of setting uh, daylight savings time. We're not going to touch any of that. We're going to leave that as is, and we're going to click next. And from here, um, all you typically need to do, it says it in the manual, but all you need to do is just make sure that it says enable DHCP. That's automatically checked off. We're going to go ahead and uh, leave that as is and click next. Um, now, I, I do have to preface this with the fact that, um, like I said in another part of the video, it does not appear to have wireless connections for the system. It seems to be just an Ethernet LAN cable only connection. Um, we can't do that where this system is located currently, so it's just going to be all um, directly on the hard drive itself, not connected to the internet for the time being. I'm going to hit next. It's going to take you here. So this is the last step screen. Um, you can scan the QR code to download and install the app. So if you scan this with your smartphone, it should give you the, the link to go download the app. Um, step two would be sign up and log in. So you'll have to sign up for an account and then log into that account. And then, um, <clears throat> and then to add the device itself, it says scan QR code with the app to add the device. So that's basically going to be your last step in this. Um, I'm kind of skipping that. Like I said, I don't have internet connection, so there's no point. Um, and working the app at this point for us. So I'm going to hit OK. And that is it. So typically when you get to this screen, um, you may or may not see these cameras if you don't already have your camera set up. Um, for us, we did already, like I said, go ahead and set up these cameras. So we've already got them hooked up. Um, it is raining out today, like it was last night as we were doing this. But we got camera one here, camera two, Camera three, and then we'll come down to camera four. We did switch a couple of the camera, uh, cameras around just for the sake of um, positioning sake on the screen. So that is the uh, overall setup um, of the system itself. I will note that this actually looks very, very good, clear and crisp uh, when it's in color during the daytime. Um, as I said in another part of the video, it is currently nighttime, so you're going to be seeing... Um, the infrared light lighting everything up outside so everywhere that is on these cameras are typically dark at this time you wouldn't really be able to see a whole lot but because the uh, cameras do have infrared built into them it's lighting everything up so at this point that is pretty much it um, just wanted to kind of go over the setup of the system thanks so much